Today I'm coming at you with a very special video. We are going to downgrade this iPhone 7 from iOS 15 to iOS 10.0.1. Let me uh, update this phone again real quick and we'll get right into the process. Alright, so we're back now. Our iPhone 7 has now been successfully updated back to the latest supported version for this iPhone which actually came out this year, if you can believe it. 15.8.4 is the latest supported version on the iPhone 7. The 64-bit downgrade tool supports the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, 7, and 7 Plus, with support coming for the 5S, 6, and 6 Plus soon. Let's get over to the computer and begin the downgrade process. The first thing you want to do is connect your iPhone to your computer via a lightning to USB-A cable. It cannot be a USB-C cable because for whatever reason, it does not allow you to enter DFV mode with a lightning to USB-C cable. It has to be a lightning to USB-A for this to work, which means if you're using a modern Mac without USB-A ports, you will also need a USB-C to USB-A adapter. We're going to connect our phone. If you've never connected your iPhone to your Mac, you will get a trust pop-up on the phone and a trust pop-up on the Mac. Make sure that you allow both of them so the phone can communicate with your Mac. Once you tap trust and allow, you're good to go on to the next step. Okay, so here we are on the Mac. Now down in the description, I'm going to have this website linked. SEP.LOL is the site you want to go to and you want to download for Mac OS. Click download for Mac OS. For this video, I'm going to select the .tar file. Then that will download. Once that's downloaded, you're going to go to IPSW.me. Also linked in the description, you're going to select iPhone. For this video, we are downgrading an iPhone 7. So you can either select iPhone 7 GSM or iPhone 7 Global. For this video, we're going to do iPhone 7 Global. Now, as you see, 15.8.4, which is the latest version, is the only IPSW you can restore to using Finder or iTunes. But with this new downgrade tool, we can downgrade to all these unsigned IPSWs. But once again, it is a tethered downgrade meaning that each time you reboot your device or the battery dies and it restarts you will have to rerun the final line of code i'm going to show you in this video but for the purposes of the video we are going to do all the way back at ios 10.0.1 you're going to click that and you are going to click download okay so the download didn't work so let me go back to ipsw.me let's go to 10.0.1 again and there will be a link at the bottom of the page copy that link to clipboard if the download doesn't work and then command v into safari and then enter and as you saw the ipsw is now downloading i already have it downloaded so i'm going to cancel that but yeah if you guys get that error when you're trying to download the ipsw just go to the bottom of the page and copy the link and paste it in as safari and the ipsw will begin downloading okay now that we have the downgrade tool and our ipsw of choice we need to go to this website also linked in the description ios.cfw.guide and here is our guide to how to tether downgrade this iphone so step one connect your device to your mac make sure that your mac is trusted by your device enter dfg mode on your device now here is where having a usb a to lightning cable is important because if you use a lightning to usb c like i said before it will not allow you to enter dfu mode so what we now need to do is put our device into dfu mode on the iphone 7 you do this by holding the power button and the volume down button for 10 seconds and then releasing the power button but continue holding the volume down button until you see dfu mode pop up on your mac we're going to hold volume down and power for 10 seconds and then release power but continue holding volume down until we get a DFU mode pop up on our Mac. 
And there we go, there's our DFU mode pop up. We can now put the phone down. We can now go to the downgrade tool that we downloaded. I will show you how to do that. You can minimize the finder window. And what we need to do is open up terminal. So press command space, type T-E-R. You should get terminal, press enter to open. Once we have terminal, run CD, tortoise, marula. I don't know how to pronounce it. So what we need to do in Finder is type CD and then space. Go to your desktop or wherever you have the downgrade tool. Save to. After you type CD, you put a space and then you drag in the downgrade tool folder and press enter. Then you're gonna copy and paste the second command. Copied it, paste it, press enter. Then we're gonna run the third command. Copy it, paste it, enter. And you'll see it says waiting for device DFU mode, found device DFU mode. So it has successfully detected Pwn DFU mode device. So now we are going to copy the next command but only up to the dash o so once you have that copied you can paste it and then you're going to do a space and then you are going to go to your finder go to your downloads or wherever you have your desired ipsw that you want to downgrade to in this case 10.0.1 you're going to drag it into the finder window so now you see it is dash o space and then the path of your chosen ipsw once that's done you can press enter after you press enter you have to type in yes all capital letters and then press enter and then for baseband version just press one and press enter next you have to type yes in all caps again to verify that you want to erase the iphone then press enter and the downgrade process will now begin as you'll see on the screen we'll get some verbose boot like text on the screen and as you see we're getting more text on the screen and the mac in the terminal window will also help you follow the process but basically right now we are restoring to our chosen iOS version, in this case 10.0.1. We will then have to run a second batch of commands to run the boot process. But yep, we get our restoring bar and that's going to continue for a little bit. So we'll be back when that's done. Okay, the restore process has now officially begun because it is sending the file system. We are at 6% right now. We are now at 40%, 90% and 100%. It is now verifying the restore. All right, so our iPhone is now in recovery mode after finishing the restore. We now need to re-enter DV mode. So hold power and volume down for 10 seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Release power and continue holding volume down. We are back in DFU mode. We now need to run more commands. So this is what we want to run to boot our device. Step one, re-enter DFU mode on your device. Second, run this command, enter. Now we need to copy and paste the second command up to the dash T. And I'll explain what we have to do next. So paste what you have copied, which should be from the beginning up to the dash T. Then you put a space. Then it's going to ask for the boot image. Where you get these files is you go to wherever you have the downgrade tool save to. You open the folder, then you open the image four folder and you will see, I believe this one is the iBoot. So you copied this whole command. Now after the T, you put a space and then you drag in the iBoot image into terminal. Then put a space, then you do dash i space. Then you dragged in your signed SCP, which I believe is the third one, yes. So then you drag in your signed SCP after the dash i with a space. After you drag in the signed SCP, make sure you put a space, then dash p space then you drag in the final file which should be in the middle and then simply press enter and your device should boot up yeah i made a mistake i forgot to copy the period at the beginning of this command so now we gotta go all the way back to the top which is gonna take a hot minute in terminal maybe there's a quicker way to do this you guys let me know in the comments 
but I'm gonna add that period that I forgot to copy over and we should be good to go. So period before the slash and then press enter. Yep, that worked. We should see an Apple logo of some sort. It wants us to enter DFG mode again. So power and volume down. Okay, we're back in DFG mode. It looks like it failed here on the terminal window. It says it's done, but I'm pretty sure the phone is frozen. So. We're going to hold volume down and power for 10 seconds. 7, 8, 9, 10. Release power, but continue holding the volume down button. And we are going to have to rerun that last command again. Okay, we're back in DFG mode. Let's put the phone down. Minimize this. Back in the terminal. And you can just press the up arrow to get your previous command. And let's press enter and see maybe if this time it'll work. Yep, we got it that time. See, we got another progress bar and when the phone boots we should be at the iOS 10 setup screen and here we are at the iOS 10 setup screen I'll see you guys back at the desk here we are back at the desk on the iOS 10 setup screen now it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone we should go straight to the data and privacy page after this disable location services fun fact with this downgrade touch ID does actually work as you can see we're gonna set that up later though set up later continue passcode no we don't want it continue set up as new iPhone don't have an Apple ID set up later in settings don't use set up later don't send customize later choose a view standard view and boom welcome to iphone look at that ios 10 wallpaper now if we go to settings general and about as you see version 10.0.1 build number 14a403 that is the brand new 64-bit downgrade tool for support right now for A9, A9X, A10, and A10X. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you guys later.